Electoral bonds have emerged as a significant component of India's political funding landscape since their inception in 2017. Offering a novel approach to campaign finance, these instruments allow individuals and corporate entities to contribute funds to political parties anonymously, introducing a layer of discretion into the donation process. Despite the anonymity they afford, electoral bonds have sparked debates surrounding transparency, accountability, and their impact on the democratic process. 1. Introduction to Electoral Bonds Electoral bonds were introduced in India in 2017 as part of the Finance Act. This financial mechanism enables donors to purchase bonds from designated branches of the State Bank of India, SBI, in fixed denominations, ranging from INR 1000 to INR 1 crore. The distinguishing feature of these bonds lies in their anonymity. The identity of the donor remains undisclosed, even to the Election Commission of India, ECI. On two, legal framework and eligible parties. The issuance and utilization of electoral bonds operate within the framework of the Representation of the People Act of 1951. Political parties eligible to receive funding through these bonds are those registered under Section 29A of the Act, having secured at least 1% of the votes polled in the last general election. 3. Process of Donation Donors purchase electoral bonds during specified periods throughout the year from authorized banks. Once acquired, these bonds are handed over to the intended political party, which then encashes them within a limited time frame through a designated bank account. Failure to do so within 15 days results in the donation being redirected to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. 4. Anonymity and Transparency Concerns While electoral bonds aim to promote transparency in political funding by channeling donations through banking channels, critics raise valid concerns regarding the lack of transparency surrounding the identity of donors. Without disclosure of the source of funds, there exists a potential for corruption and undue influence, undermining the integrity of the electoral process. A 5. Impact on Political Funding Dynamics Electoral bonds have significantly reshaped the landscape of political funding in India. Offering a legal avenue for contributions, these bonds have become a preferred mode of donation for many individuals and entities seeking to support political causes. However, concerns persist regarding the potential misuse and lack of accountability associated with this mechanism. 6. Validity and Denominations Electoral bonds come with a validity period of 15 days, emphasizing the time-sensitive nature of these instruments. Available in multiple denominations, ranging from INR 1000 to INR 1 crore, electoral bonds cater to a diverse spectrum of donors, facilitating contributions of varying magnitudes. 7. Future of Political Funding Despite recent reforms scrapping the electoral bond system, political parties retain avenues for receiving donations directly from individuals and corporations, subject to certain limitations on value and anonymity. Additionally, electoral trusts serve as intermediaries for collecting and distributing funds, with requirements for disclosing donors and aggregate contributions to respective parties. 8. Challenges and Criticisms Critics argue that the existing regulations may still allow parties to circumvent transparency measures, such as by breaking down larger donations into smaller amounts to mask their origins. Moreover, the use of cash transactions for certain expenses could potentially undermine efforts to enforce election expenditure limits. In conclusion, while electoral bonds have introduced novel mechanisms for political funding in India, their implementation has sparked debates surrounding transparency, accountability, and the integrity of the democratic process. Addressing these concerns requires a careful balance between facilitating legitimate contributions to political causes and safeguarding the principles of transparency and accountability in governance. 
Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I trust you found it insightful. Your feedback is invaluable, so please share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the content, don't hesitate to show your support with a thumbs up. Stay connected for more enriching content from the international lens. And if you'd like to further support my efforts, consider buying me a coffee through the link provided in the description. Your support keeps this channel thriving. Until next time, stay inspired.